Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for All Sun, Moon, and Rising Aries for the fourth week of August 2017. And I want to say to each and every person out there, thank you for supporting my channels. Thank you for the likes and shares. Please listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising and go back and listen to the month of August for the two last week of August. This month of August, we have five weeks. This is the fourth week of August, and the week begins from the 21st until the 27th of August. It's a long month, and um, in this week, it's going to be a wonderful time. Um, there's a lot of things that are happening. You are vibrating with the energy vibration of the energy of uh, the fire sign, and it is changing on Wednesday to the earth signs so for you fire people it's going to be a changing of the guards in this week so you have to prepare yourself for it as I look at this week whatever situation or whatever things that was uh, um, being um, if uh, having an effect in your life whatever situation that was going on um, there is going to be an end to the negative energies the negative things that was happening in your life this is the week of strength and in the week of strength is it's a fire energy the whole week and um, with strength you're asking for inner strength with a lot of things okay um, there is uh, the um, seven of cups is going to be your focus which is a seven of cups is an energy vibration of you're no longer in dreaming you're no longer in the fantasy land you're out of the fantasy land now and you are going to start taking action. So it's a, a week of pro actions and cleaning up things that needs to be cleansed and removed from out your energy vibration. Okay. As we look at your week, it's the week has um, a lot of swords energy. You have swords on Monday, Thursday and Friday. Okay whatever is happening we have the king of pentacles the king of cups is here and we have the ten of cups which is just a crown in for your week let's look further to see what other messages are here because there's a lot of messages coming up whatever is happening there are messages coming up there are going to be new beginnings um whatever is happening be open to the energies um, that are here and um, as we look at this we also have the seven so your number is going to be the number seven number seven is screaming out in your reading whatever the situation is number seven is screaming out in your reading so you have seven seventy seven um, seven seventy seven Seven seventy-seven seven seven seven. So there is a lot of cleansing. There's a lot of situation that is happening. Number seven is going to be um, one of those energies for you guys. Okay. So we have seven seventy-seven and seven seven seven. And Monday we have the energy vibration of the look energy, and you're a fire sign. And what is happening here is that whatever influence of negativity that was around you and in your life or people trying to do things to you whatever that sort of a negative energy lower energies um, people not sending you positive energy it's now in reverse okay and what is happening is that there is someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn who is helping you in this situation however she's helping she can be helping you from out the spirit world for some people or she can be um, an earth angel that is helping you because these um these hurt people can help people like the fire sign help the other zodiac um people to um clear certain negativity and certain energy and they can come in always to help you okay so for 
um, whoever that was going through a situation as if people were just against you whatever for whatever reason um, it is now yield and uh, someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn is going to come in and help you heal that situation okay as we move on to Tuesday we have another hair sign whatever is happening the air signs are coming out we have the energy of the magician the energy of the magician is here it's the energy vibration of um, the four element so whatever is happening you will receive in help from people from all the zodiac sign to help you to bring out and protect you from whatever situation that is happening so you will find out that some people will have the hurt sign helping them some people will have the water sign helping them and some people will have the hair sign coming together and maybe all four for some people coming together to help you and to protect you in some way or another okay as we look at the middle of the week and the crowning of your week I call this the crowning of your week because it's really the crowning of the week and when I said the crowning of the week it is what is the most significant thing that is going to um, touch the lives of a lot of people in the zodiac reading for the zodiac sign we have an energy vibration of water emotion so it's going to be an emotional week for some people it's going to be good emotion for some people it's going to be bad for emotion but it depends on what energy vibration you're working on this is going to be a positive emotion for a lot of people because there's a lot of um, situation that is coming um, coming ahead and coming forth and what is happening is that the healing is taking place and you have uh, the three of one so whatever the situation that you have with family situation whether it's a cosmic family or, or the Heracle family you are seeing that in this week there is going to be a healing of that situation and you will be leaving it behind and try to find inner peace with yourself and with other people around you we're moving forward and we are looking at Thursday now Thursday there is a defeat for some people I really and normally I don't say a defeat but I'm getting the energy vibration that for for the people who have been working on a lower energy you got a defeat um, whatever is happening whatever is happening in your life whatever situation that is happening in your life uh, for some people you have gained um, in a sense that you have overcome something for some people your enemy has defeat you uh, for some people you have won the battle but um, it's not really a winning of the battle it is a situation that needs to be ill a lot of you will realize that there is a lot of people that is there's a lot of little enemies a lot of people who are you know not really being nice these situations are happening because um, the universe wants you to open up your eyes and to learn that love is the most important thing but yet still um, to realize that there are people who are not really you know together with you sometimes you have a feelings that you know people are not and it is most of the time jealousy it's jealousy and as if um, it's a form of jealousy so be aware of the situation whatever the situation is be aware of the situation and know that you need to protect yourself in whatever way as we move on we have the energy of the four of swords whatever this energy is the four of sword is always a time that you're resting on Friday so on Friday whatever the situation is is that you are in a resting period whatever is happening we have the seven of Pentacles in reverse so this is good so you can take rest because whatever you have been doing you have planted the seed you have a um, you know spread what it is getting what it is out there you have laid the foundation for something and now you're taking rest and you're watching it grows okay 
so this is you know really good it's a week where a lot of changes a lot of situation on Saturday we have the nine of ones this is a good day for you uh, Wednesday and Saturday is a good day for you the nine of ones energy comes up and uh, you're protective while you go on a new journey so I'm feeling just a lot of stuff have been happening for you Aries a lot of stuff it's as if you have been you know you people are hard-working people and uh, sometimes people misjudge you for whatever reason and uh, now you have moved away and you're going on a new journey you're on a new part in your life and you are going to be very successful whatever is going on whatever you're trying new you are about to take a new part and the angels and guides are saying go for it because you are protected in this time whatever you want and whatever you're trying to change go for it because protection is here for you the last and final card that we have on Sunday we have the energy of the king of cups whatever situation is going on um, for you guys who are in a relationship if this is your husband if this is your partner I'm seeing some of you deciding to move away and leave this person behind and going on a new part in your life be aware of um, you know make sure that you leaving someone is not because of materialistic things because it's, make sure it's because you know that whatever lesson you need to learn from this person you have learned and you're moving on so be aware of whatever you're doing because I'm seeing either this person wants to leave you or you are moving away from this person because this person is in your reading so for some people this can be a situation um, of a situation a relationship with your father and that sort of a thing that needs to be healed and it is healed and you're letting whatever has happened for some people it is a situation with family members that um, is of a Pisces a scorpion or a cancer and you're moving away from these people whatever the situation is um, you're moving away you have held yield a situation and you're moving away from it and it's going to be um, positive uh, again I'm getting the situation with people who are in relationship with these water sign people you know do not you know make drastic action just take your time to understand what is happening so as I look at your week your week is going to be an emotional week it's going to be a week of love where you're you're healing certain things some people will be healing things at the workplace some people will heal in things in their family whatever is happening um, you're no longer in a dream state you have come out of that dream state you're an understanding what is happening around you you're accepting what is happening around you some of you will be on uh, new journeys and some of you will be taking some time off and resting after a very long battle it is good when we rest after battles we need to re-energize ourselves okay so um so the whole week is all about love changing healing whatever situation that has been happening let's look at what chakras you should be working on in this week blue bittersweet so for a lot of people we can see this on Thursday coming out this energy of bittersweet and this energy of bittersweet is that a battle is won for some people but the battle has won with bittersweet for some um, other there is a bittersweet situation of people moving away from each other and that sort of a thing that sort of an energy so we need to understand what is happening in our life whatever this bittersweet is listen and learn from it understand that, that sometimes these things do happen and it's because um, situation um, we have learned and we have to relearn these situations so you know take the time to understand 
these the journey that you are on and sometimes it's not one of the best one and sometimes it ends in with a bit of sweet but the healing has come in as we move on we are looking and um, we're using the um, answer from the angels and let's see what message is here for the answers from the angels what message is here and it says ask the angels for help whatever is happening in your life or no yeah ask your angels for help whatever is happening in your lives um, call upon the universe and the cosmic universe and connect to the heart of the cosmic universe and ask your angels and guides to come in for the people who works with angels and guides or just call upon the universal beams for help in whatever situation whatever this bittersweet situation is call upon them and ask them for divine intervention and ask him for healing for this situation and as you do that you will feel and see the miracles happening around you so i want to say to each and every person i want to say thank you for being here thank you for supporting my channel and please listen to them uh, go back and listen to august monthly reading listen to your sun moon and rising sign and know that only love is real namaste